Hey guys, Belle here from Disney 3, here to talk to you about how much Disney World tickets cost and to just explain a little bit about add-ons and about different like child tickets and adult tickets because Disney World ticketing is actually a pretty complicated business. So I want you to know exactly how much you're going to pay before you go on your trip, that way you know how many days you can spend and etc, etc, things like that. Okay, so if you're one adult, one ticket, one park, one day, it's going to cost you about $85. Now that's as of right this moment. I never know when Disney's gonna change their prices, but you can bet it's around $85 right now. <laughs> okay, likewise for a child, which is anyone nine or under, because at Disney World, if you're 10 years old, you're counted as an adult. Anyone nine or under, it's gonna be $79. So it's not a huge difference. Okay, so let's say you're, you're one person and you want five days at Disney World. That will cost you about $251. One good thing about Disney World is instead of costing the same amount every day, they like to bundle things together. So if you're going to stay there for five days, for example, like I told you, instead of it being 85 times five, which would be $425, they take it and they make each day less expensive the more you buy. So you pay less per day. So it'd be only $250. Okay, now let's talk about things that you would add on to one adult ticket for five days or whatever. If you're staying for five days, remember it's $251 for the base ticket. Now let's say you want to add park hopper. Park hopper is where you can hop from park to park, you can like switch in one day. So for example, let's say you want to go to the Magic Kingdom in the morning and you want to ride It's a Small World because that's really important to you, but you also want to catch Epcot's show and you want to have dinner at the French Pavilion. That park hopper will allow you to do that, otherwise you have to stay in your one park the entire day. Okay, so that'll add $55 onto your ticket, so it'll be $306. Now let's say you want to add water parks. Maybe you want to go to a water park one of the days. That's going to add you another $55, so it'll end up being $361. So that's one person for five days. Okay, now let's say you want to add this little option called no expiration. That's where your tickets literally have no expiration. They're not going to go bad. Generally, Disney World tickets go bad 14 days after your first use. So let's say you want a hoard of a couple tickets and Disney World will raise prices eventually and then you could, in theory, save money on your tickets later, but you have to pay extra depending on how many days it is. If it's two days, you'll pay about $25 extra on top of your base ticket. And if it's, for example, five days, it'll be $115 on top of your base ticket. So I personally don't really think it's worth it um, just because I might lose the tickets in the time that I have them at my house and I'd probably just buy new ones once I got there anyway. <laughs> okay, but it's kind of a cool option. Okay, we're gonna have a pretend family of four so we can kind of figure out how much a family of four would pay for a five day vacation at Disney World. Okay, so let's say they're the Joneses and there's two adults and there's two kids, kids being under nine years old. So let's say there's a seven year old and eight year old. If all four people had five tickets for all the days, five days, then it would come out to about $966, and that's the base ticket. That's without anything else. You're just going to one park per day for five days, which is fine. Like, that's perfectly fine. I personally don't use the other options that often, but it just depends on what you want out of your vacation. Let's say you want to add Park Hopper. That'll be $1,186 to add Park Hopper to four people for five days. Okay, let's say you want to add Water Parks. Well, that'll be about $200 more, so that'll be about... $1,400 and with no expiration it'll probably come around to the big enchilada that's with everything on it it'll be $1,800 $1,866 I'm sorry for everything if you want to add no expiration you want to add water parks you want to add the park hopper the highest ticket you can get for four people for five days will be $1,800 I think that's a little bit much I don't think you really need the other options so it'll probably be around a thousand dollars if that's what you're looking at. I just wanted to explain the tickets to you a little more. I was really comp I was really confused the first time I saw them and I know your vacation is going to be great. If you have any questions